Hi and welcome to a construction video. In this video we're going to use the Desmos geometry tool to create the circumcenter of a triangle. And when you do that you first need to start with a triangle and the circumcenter is created by the perpendicular bisectors of each side. What's nice about Desmos is that we have a tool that creates perpendicular lines. So in order to make our perpendicular bisectors, the first thing we need to do is um, find the midpoint of each side. So I'm going to select a side, go to the arrow tool first, and then click on your side, go to more tools, and we're going to create a midpoint. And we're going to do that for all three sides. I'm going to go to the next side, make sure that arrow tool is selected up here in the upper left hand corner, click on the side, more tools, midpoint. All right, and the last one, click on the side, more tools, midpoint. Okay, now I have the midpoints of all three of my sides. So what I'm going to do is construct a perpendicular line through each of those midpoints, and that will create the perpendicular bisector of each side of the triangle. So again, if you go to more tools, we're gonna select the perpendicular line tool and Desmos gives, a, gives us instructions. It says, choose a line to set the slope. Now remember, slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals. So what Desmos is doing is looking at the slope of the segment that I selected and it's calculating the opposite reciprocal slope so that when it creates this line, it is exactly perpendicular. And then the tool resets and it lets you do that again. So choose a line. Now I'm gonna choose another line segment of my triangle and then the point, and you can see that green check mark. Okay, I have created the perpendicular bisector. And then the last one, choose a line, choose the point, and we are done. Once you're done, go ahead and click on the arrow tool, that selection tool in the upper left-hand corner, and that will turn off that perpendicular tool. Now, if I select one of the vertices of my triangle, you can see that that point of concurrency where those three perpendicular bisectors intersect, and I'm gonna create a point right there, that is always going to be the point of intersection of all three perpendicular bisectors. And that point of concurrency is called the um, circum circumcenter. So we're gonna label that and we're gonna call that the circumcenter. So it's got a better label, not just A. We're gonna be a little more specific here. And the reason that that point is called the circumcenter of the triangle is because if you grab a circle and you go to one of the vertices of the triangle, you're going to create a circle that circumscribes the triangle. Therefore, the center of that, circum of that circle is called the circumcenter. Okay? So what you notice here is the circumcenter is equidistant from all three vertices of the triangle because all three vertices lie on the triangle. Therefore, if I connect the circumcenter to each vertex with a segment, I have created three congruent segments which all happen to be radii of the, tr of the circle. Therefore, they're congruent. Therefore, we can verify or justify that that circumcenter is equidistant from each vertex of the triangle. So I hope this construction was helpful. I hope you're getting familiar with Desmos and using it to practice your geometry skills and learning a little bit about the points of concurrency of triangles. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.